Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? It is, I haven't got a clue what day I'm on, I think it's Monday, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into today's video. everyone so please before i dive into today's video i could ask one little thing please could you hit the like button subscribe button if you haven't already and press that notification bell so you don't miss any further hope loads it means a lot and it helps with my algorithm i can never say that word properly anyway let's get into today's video i thought i'd talk about living with fibromyalgia and yes before i get into it i am in a flare up and i am free tired today i have made some notes so if you see me doing that yeah i'll, I'll try to make some notes but my hand if anyone else has fibro you will notice your handwriting starts off okay through the day and then it looks like a kid's written it by the afternoon and that's what mine started off with a bit of a looks like a kid's written it so i did the, i want to do this video to make people make awareness of fibro mouth because not a lot of people talk about it well they probably do on youtube but and the doctors i think <laughs> don't even get me started with the doctors and i know i know they're busy and etc etc but i feel like they need to be trained on this because there's a hell of a lot of people that are getting diagnosed with this and i feel sometimes think i feel getting misdiagnosed because when i got diagnosed i got told that i couldn't find out what wrong with you and when we can't find all wrong with people, they get diagnosed with fibro and a leaflet and off the door, out of the door, I'm like, what? So I've been waiting for like years for this uh, diagnosis, just to be told in five minutes and then give me a leaflet and out the door I was. I went on crying. I'm kicking you on the bus trying to, you know, when you're trying to stop. <laughs> well, what the hell's fibro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've never heard of it before. Anyway. I have got a little bit of heartburn as well, and brain fog is bad. So if I start drifting off and oh, ah, then I do apologise. And if you do suffer with fibro and you're in a flare up, what helps you in a flare? I mean, I want to go back to bed right now, but I can't because I've got someone coming to do a repair. And all I want to do is this. I'm just struggling. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's, well, I don't know. I think I need to go back to bed. Anyway, so like I said, I just want to make awareness of fibro and if you don't suffer with fibro then you probably won't understand and you probably think, oh, she's just complaining. Everyone has, has a bit of pain. Uh, mm, yeah, I even looked online when I got diagnosed to see symptoms or what can be cured and this disorder you cannot, there's no cure for it, it's just management and pain relief, which my pain relief doesn't touch it so I, and it's, the gabapentin, which affected my stomach, and so reason I stopped taking that. I take anything extra, or I'm in the middle of talking to the doctors about trying something different. Anyway, <sighs> what symptoms do you guys suffer? In fact, the list goes on. I mean, excuse up on it. I'm gonna get something to decorate soon. Anyway, what were I saying? The symptoms go on and on and on, and the main ones are chronic pain, chronic fatigue. Yeah, when you get hit with that, boom. Ooh, yeah, so I'm in pain 24 7. Some days are low pain days, some are high pain days, and the high pain days is classed as a fibro flare up. And the only way I could describe it, feeling like so I've got an itchy nose. A feeling like um, you feel like you've been beaten up <laughs> because your buds are hurting, and you also feel like you've got the really bad flu where you're achy, you're just sweating, and you just you feel like you're dying. But you're not, I shouldn't have said that word, but that's what it feels like. You're in agony, you can't move every part of your hurts, your head hurts. Oh my lord, and it just feels like you've been had a kicking, you know what I mean, as well. But 
obviously I am, but that's the only way I can describe a fibre or flare up. And on those days you just can't do all, and it can last a few hours, it can last a day, it can last a three days, it could even last months, up to six months it can happen. And I can get up to a few flares a week, and that's probably why I've not as well done some videos, because I just don't add the energy, the fatigue, and something else. Um, but yeah, sorry, I've got, what's that? Oh, it's a spot. <laughs> but yeah, the worst one, I think, is the pain. Not having a pain-free day. What is that? Um, so the ones that I suffer really badly at the minute is IBS. Look at I've not been able to go to talk. I know it's too early in the morning, and I do apologise. But... One second. Sorry, I just had to get a drink because I got a bit of dry mouth. I'm sorry about the brain fog. So, so <sighs> IBS. I've never felt pain like it. I've not. I've suffered with it in the past, and I thought, oh, I'll just take some of these little tablets you can get off the counter. So you go, yeah, they don't work till like three in the morning, and you're like, oh. Anyway, but IBS. Oh my stomach. I'm kidding. You. It feels like I look like a bat for. Like six months pregnant, my belly's bloated, I'm in agony, and it hurts to go to the toilet. And I can't go to the toilet right now, it's painful. Um, and nothing's happening. <laughs> but I don't want to keep going back to the doctors because they'll think you're hypochondriac, and I'm not. I just feel like the doctors need to know more information about fibro, and they don't. They just put everything down. Oh, it's just part of fibro. Like drop falls, part of fibro. Drop falls is when I can be walking and boom, I don't even know, my body just like, ugh. It's like, like, just give way. I don't have enough sensations or anything. I just fall. Uh, stomach migraines, oh my lord. <sighs> your stomach goes bolt like hard and it hurts. Blurry vision. Um, your teeth crumble and break easily. You, I've lost quite a few teeth due to fibro, yes. And the dentist won't even aware of that. And yeah, you're accusing me of eating too much sweeties. Maybe that's the case. But not. It's mainly my back ones that have gone. But yeah. The list goes on and on. And then it's a chronic fatigue where you get exhausted, drained the life out of you. You just don't want to do anything. Health work, anything goes out the window. Um, keeping a job is really hard because you're just always having time off and... Oh, like I say, if you think you've got fibromyalgia, please visit the doctors and talk to them about it. But you can also go on NHS Choices and press the A to Z, go into F for fibro, and yeah, it'll show you how it's there. Well, that's why living with fibromyalgia. It's people think we're lazy and we're not. We just generally need to rest. Um. And I'm not kidding when I when I'm in so much pain and when my stomach hurts and head hurts and everything hurts, I just want to cry. In fact, I do sometimes cry myself to sleep. And that's another sleep. What is sleep? Because <laughs> I can go to bed tired and like I'm like in front room. As soon as I go in that bedroom, sorry, touch my head, touch the pillow. It's like, woo, hello. Let's think what you did last year. Do, 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 do. No sleep. Then it's trying to find a comfortable position to lay down when your hips are hurting, your back's hurting. And obviously then you fall asleep. Then you're up in an hour. And that's what it's like all night. Up, down, up, down. Then it trips to the bathroom. And then it's back. And then you wake. And then as soon as you wake up, that's it then. And it's daylight. You're like, oh. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. What is it like for you living with fibromyalgia? Is it, does it feel like the flu, really bad flu, like I explained? It's the only way I can describe it. Oh, you've had a good kick in. And it just feels like your body is covered in bruises. And uh, you know what I mean? That's what it feels like. You're back, being battered and bruised. You're bru bruised all over. And that's another thing. I easily bruise these days and I never used to. Well, that word sounds weird, bruise. Just say it. <laughs> anyway guys thanks again for watching and i'll catch up with the next video i hope you're all having a low pain day and not so much t as tired as i am if it wasn't for a repair guy come today i'd be still in my bed so yeah <laughs> i'll catch up with you in the next video thanks again for watching also please can you i'll try and tag her but can you go over and subscribe to a lovely lady called emma i think she's called ems on t and t 
Oh, but I've forgotten. TNT. Uh, she talks about Meghan Markle and Ari and a few other things as well. But let me tag her in. Please go across and watch her and subscribe. She's really great lady. Sorry, me, I'm sorry. I, I like watching her videos anyway. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.